In this video, we will examine instructional strategies which are appropriate to establish an andragological approach for teaching adults. Again, I remind you that adults are not just big children. Adults learn differently from children and require different instructional strategies from those employed upon children. Now, Knowles recommended seven instructional strategies, and he, we're going to go through them and discuss them, uh, try to look at some of the implications of those strategies. He recommended the following when working with adult learners. First, that of setting a cooperative learning in, uh, climate. Setting a cooperative learning climate uh, sounds familiar somewhat for those of us that have practiced pedagogy as we deal with children, but I think we can read this a little bit too shallowly. Cooperative means a partnership. Uh, remember that we talked about adults having uh, self-opinion, self-esteem, uh, wanting to be treated as peers, and the word cooperation here implies that the, the teacher and the learner join together to build a learning com uh, climate which is beneficial to both. So, you know, you need to cooperate. That's the first thing that Knowles uh, established. The second is to create mechanisms for mutual planning. In the model of pedagogy, the, the faculty member or the instructor or the teacher is the source of all wisdom and the source of all guidance, the source of all knowledge, the fount of all things flowing forth to guide and to lead the student. But in andragogy, student, we recognize that adults bring many different skill sets into the classroom. And that in some things, the adults may know more than the faculty member knows. So that's, that's really very common. So not only do you build a cooperative learning environment, but uh, uh, Knowles recommended that mechanisms be in place for mutual planning. Now, that likely means that the teacher doesn't plan everything. The teacher allows the student to do some things or to put in place some processes that the student sees as being very beneficial. Uh, Knowles also said we need to arrange for a diagnosis of learner needs and interest. Uh, this can be done very informally. Uh, tell us something about yourself and what you like and what you expect to get from this course. Could be a way of diagnosing learner needs. Uh, discussion groups, group projects, those things really help bend a course to meet the need and the interest of the learner. You will recall that adults uh, are not going to put forth much effort if there's something there that they don't think they need or that will ever benefit them. But if they see that what they're learning will help them, then they're very highly motivated to acquire that knowledge. Knowles also recommended uh, that we enable the formulation of learning objectives based on diagnosed needs and interests. Of course, we determine what those needs and interests are, and then we formulate what we're trying to accomplish together in order to achieve those, those goals and interest and uh, or meet the need and the interest. You'll see in this that the learner is deeply involved in having an input into the course as a peer to help guide the direction of the course. Of course, we have self-directed learning at work here. Design sequential activities for achieving the objectives. Now, sequential means orderly. One follows the other. I really think what Knowles is saying there is that if you're going to teach adults, you better have it planned. Just chaotic blast of a piece here and a piece there with no rhyme or reason isn't going to do it for adults. Adults want to be involved. They want it to be meaningful. They want it to be legitimate. They, they like having uh, concepts of uh, independent learning, but they want it to, to be organized, and that is very important to the adult learner. And then execute the design by selecting methods, materials, and resources that accomplish that. Certainly in the spirit of andragogy, some of the methods, materials, and resources should be selected by the adult learner. Uh, for instance, I enjoy making video. I love making video with a Camtasia 
and I enjoy making video using iMovie, and I'm an Apple user. But, you know, an adult may be a very good uh, IBM user. And if I were to mandate, well, you do this with this piece of software and this and this and this and this, the adult learner may have a better way of doing it. So we need to be organized in our instructional activities, but we need to design the methods, materials, and resources that are there. And it needs to be a cooperative process between the teacher and the learner. Knowles also pointed out that it's important to evaluate the quality of the learning experience while re-diagnosing the needs for further learning. In other words, we start out, we do the best we can, we evaluate what we did and we learn from it and we improve. Uh, adults uh, appreciate uh, instruction which grows in its, in its ability. They like seeing the growth of the, of the, of the teacher just as well as, as having the expectation that the learner would grow. If we are indeed in a journey together, then we must, we must grow together and in turn help each other. I want to remind you that these seven instructional strategies are intended to bring about the self-directed learning of the adult learner. In other words, to empower the adult, uh, and draw them in in interest with a subject that they know will be beneficial to them, they see the legitimacy of it, and empower that adult learner to take charge of their own learning and, and to get it on. Uh, we also notice that uh, these adults bring in a reservoir of experiences that they can share with the class, with their teammates, and with the faculty. And if when the involvement of the adult in a cooperative environment enriches the course rather than weakens it. I hope that this has been beneficial to you. We have one more little video we're going to do in which we look at uh, the differences in pedagogy and andragogy. Uh, I do want to point out to you that uh, while I'm laying this out for you, that everything I've said can be challenged, and you have the right to challenge it. Disprove it if you can. Uh, it's certainly not going to hurt my feelings. Add to it so that we might make it richer. Andragogy, in my opinion, is the way that I want to be taught. And I believe that it is incumbent upon a, a person who feels that way to involve uh, the, the learner in, such the, in the same system that they would want to use. Adult learners bring a lot to the table, but a lot is expected in return. I want to tell you that I thank you for your patronage. I appreciate your support of my videos, watching them, spending some time with them. I hope they help you. And as always, may the odds be ever in your favor. Have a blessed day.